Oh, hi there. My name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and we're going to go camping with pencils today. I'm not going to literally take you on a camping trip. I'm going to take some stamps camping. This little set from My Favorite Things is pretty sweet. I love these little guys. I'm going to take a bunch of these stamped to just color on my own while I'm on my next trip. And since we are just about at 4th of July weekend right now, I thought you might like some ideas on what to take on your camping trip if you're going to go on one. So while I color this with my colored pencils on Desert Storm Mina cardstock, I will chit chat about some ideas for what I take on my trips and what you might consider for your camping vacation. I suggest colored pencils because they are the easiest to deal with. They're the smallest for the most part. Your Copic case is going to be too big and you might run out of ink. In the middle of coloring something, you won't have your craft room there with you. So you could, I suppose, ink up all your markers to take with you, but pencils will just be a little easier. So take those. I'm putting a link in the doobly-doo to my pencil case. If you need a pencil case, you don't have time to get one before this weekend, but you could get it before a future camping trip. And I take along with me also a hand crank pencil sharpener, a little teeny tiny one so that I don't take up much room and a little clipboard. This is a little clipboard that's like, I think it's five by seven, so it holds a stamped image just great. But if you just have room on your lap in the car or on a plane, and you just have a little tiny bit of space, you can work on that kind of a little surface and you have a hard surface to color against on your lap. Sometimes a book will do, but I like a clipboard because you can actually secure it in there and it will, it will stay put instead of having to hold it down on top of your book. Then you would take with you some stamped images. I like to take a selection of stamped images. Sometimes I feel in the mood to do flowers, so I'll take a few flower stamped images. Other times I feel like doing characters and I'll do some of those. And then I might take extra stamped images of a scene. So if I want to set up my misty and do a whole scene, set up a couple of those and sit and color them. If you want to get head on your Christmas cards and your Christmas stamped images, get some of those out and stamp some off so that you can get at least the coloring portion done. And anything that you want to take with you as far as coloring books is also a great option because then you can get the kids coloring in their coloring books while mom or auntie or grandma colors in her coloring book. And while you're doing this, it's a great opportunity to spend some time with those kiddos and teach them something about art. Because even if you might feel like you don't know much, you know more than those kids do. You've been doing this a little longer than them. And even if you're just going to give them encouragement in doing it, not in how to do it, but just encourage them to do something creative all the time and keep their hands in it. Don't let them fall away from it. Don't let them listen to discouragement. This is a great time for you to speak truth and love into their lives so that if they hear some kids say something mean about their art in school, that they'll have your voice in their head telling them that that is not true. Whatever that kid is saying is not true. And it's a great time while you're sitting and coloring to just have some chat time with those kids and let them talk to you as well. How do they feel about their art and what they're creating? You never know what's going to happen. You can teach them a little shading if you know anything about shading. If you've taken the Copic Jumpstart class, you can even show them the technique about breaking down an image into all of its parts. You can teach them where the light source is coming from and that the shadows go on the left or the right or wherever you want to teach them. Anything you teach them is more than they're getting in schools nowadays because schools don't really teach much. So this is a great opportunity for you to speak into these little kiddos' lives and create young artists and give them encouragement to do what we all forgot we could do. <laughs> when we got discouraged at some point in our lives and we put our crayons down, we want to help these kids not to do that. We want to help them to stay creative their whole lives, even if they're not going to go into that as a career, but to help them stay engaged with their artistic side. One other idea that I was thinking about as I was doing this and I wanted to talk about helping out with those kiddos is taking a blank color wheel with you on your camping trip and take enough for each kid to have one or two in case they mess one up and teach them how the color wheel works. 
you can download one online. I'm sure there are tons that you can download. And I'll see if I can remember when I get done with this to put a link to something you can download. Or you can use the one from the Copic Jumpstart class. If you were in that, then we've got lots of teaching on the color wheel. You can teach that to these kiddos. Let them know what the color wheel is. How do colors mix? You don't want them to get to the point that we all did where we just don't know anything about color. We don't know anything about shading. We want the kids, the next generation, to grow up knowing more than we did. So this is a, another great opportunity for teaching. I'm uh, working through this image and I will apologize now for the very end because just as I started on a background, my camera turned off and I didn't realize it. So we, I didn't capture all of it. I am getting lots of it. This moose in particular, I wanted to call out the fact that he's a very big empty space. Well, all these stamps are somewhat large empty spaces, which makes them nice and easy to color. But just because there are empty spaces here doesn't mean you can't add your own flavor to it, your own shading. So when I get to his, his shading, I'm going to add either you can do a second layer of the same color and just press a little harder, make it a little bit darker, or you can take another color and actually draw in new shapes that weren't there in the first place. So when I get down to his little legs, you're gonna see this develop because just because an image doesn't have lines in it doesn't mean you can't create them. I'm just gonna add all of my shadows, my general shadows first, just to see how happy I am with it before I decide I'm gonna go in and add some crazy things on this little moose because I think the moose is my favorite in this stamp set, even though I'm a, a real fox aficionado. I really love, love this little moose guy. So here's where I'm looking at the, the legs in here and trying to figure out if his legs didn't actually all, just all end up in one blob at his body, how would they break up? And right there, that back leg, if I make it really dark, it's gonna knock to the back immediately. And then his, his other legs, I need to find a way to make them sort of break out from the body so they look like they're in front of it. And I can do that by adding some darker shading on either side of it, because that's gonna add some depth to it and allow that front leg to look like it's really popping forward. That's just a little bonus tip in this video. Most of the shading here is uber simple and I don't recommend getting crazy with it. If you're on vacation, make sure you relax. Don't get stressed out about your coloring. Just relax and have fun because that's what vacation is for. You've worked hard all year and you deserve some time off. So here's my finished really simple card. I layered it on some brown paper and then popped that pair of layers onto the front of the card and kept it really simple. I stamped hugs into the sign and that is that for today's card. I wanted to keep this video nice and short because I know you're all going on vacation. So I send warm and fuzzy greetings from the inside of my card to you as you go off on your vacation. I hope you have a great time. And if you're not going on vacation, you have some time, you want to watch some other videos on colored pencil. I've got three more that I've done on Desert Storm. Apparently, I really like using <laughs> Desert Storm paper with colored pencils because it really gives you an interesting look. If you haven't yet subscribed, you're welcome to do that. There's links to everything in the doobly-doo down below. And I will see you on Monday. I do have a 4th of July post coming up. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.